Hallelujah in Jesus, friends, and blessings. Welcome back to Hayek Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is July 21st in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken out of the book of Job and verse 9. And as you're turning there, I want to talk to you this morning about perception. More specifically, self-perception. I mean, think about it for a minute. What are your best days? You wake up, you feel like a million-dollar bill. The world is vibrant, and you feel confident. You feel strong. You feel good about yourself. Well, that, friends, is perception. I mean, some of the most depressed people on the planet today perceive themselves in a very negative fashion. That's why so many people take nutritional products, buy new clothes, wear jewelry, get new hairdos, new fingernails, work out, go to the gym, etc., etc., so that we can look in the mirror and feel good about ourselves. We can drive down the highway and feel good about ourselves. And many times it's not just that we feel good about ourselves, but it's the fact that we feel good that we're contributing back to the world that we live in. And so by doing that, we think of the good things that we have done. And in doing that, we begin to pat ourselves on the back, thinking more highly of ourselves than we ought Now, by now, you've probably found Job chapter 9, and so let me explain this to you from a biblical perspective. The verse we're going to read is in verse 20, which says, If I justify myself, mine own mouth shall condemn me. If I say I am perfect or I am good, it shall also prove me perverse. Now, to justify ourselves has much to do with the way that we perceive ourselves, the things that we do, whether good or bad. And the Bible is very clear that we can deceive ourselves. And so Job here is saying, if I justify myself, if I think highly of myself, mine own mouth shall condemn me. Why? Because I know the truth about myself and you know the truth about yourself. You know your motives, whether you're willing to be honest with yourself or not. And most of the times, our motives are wrong. We may be doing something for someone so that on some rainy day when we need help, we can rely on them to help us. That's a wrong motive. We may be visiting the sick so that we can earn brownie points with the Most High. Those are wrong motives. We may pray and read our Bibles so that we fulfill some spiritual obligation? Those are wrong motives. Should we be doing all of those things mentioned? Absolutely, but with right motives. And what Job is saying is that I cannot hide my motives from myself. I cannot make excuses, and I cannot deceive myself. On the surface, I may, but when I'm alone in the dark, left alone with my thoughts, my very mouth, or my very thoughts condemn me and prove me perverse. You see, Isaiah says something along these same lines in chapter 64 and verse 6 when he says, we are all as an unclean thing. Every single one of us. It doesn't matter how good we think we are. It doesn't matter how sinless you think your pastor is, your mom and dad, your grandparents, We are all as an unclean thing. Why? Because we're comparing ourselves to a holy God. When we compare ourselves to Hitler, we all come out looking white. But when we compare ourselves to a holy God, we look like Satan himself. And so Isaiah says we are all as an unclean thing. And all our righteousness, all of our good deeds, all of the things that we think good about ourselves are seen by God as filthy rags. Now, I want to be discreet in explaining this, but if you were to look up that filthy rags in the Hebrew, 
it has something to do with the protection device that a woman uses once every month to keep herself sanitary. And in the way that it's using it here, it's not speaking of the moment that she goes through that, but after she comes through that. And it says all of our righteousness, all of our good deeds, all of our prayers, all of our Bible readings, all of our visitations with the sick, all of our church going, everything that we do that we think to be good about ourselves is a filthy rag in his sight. And we fade as a leaf and our iniquities, our sins, our transgressions, like the wind, have taken us away. And there is none that calleth upon the name of the Lord. There is none that stirs up himself to take hold of God. For God has hid his face from us and has consumed us because of our iniquities. And this is where the beauty of the King of Glory begins to really take focus. Because as we place ourselves in the Lord Jesus, those wrongs are no longer seen. He only sees Jesus. But our reminder today is not to think too highly of ourselves. When we wake up in the morning, if we feel good, it's because our confidence is in the God that we serve. It's because our trust is in Him. Our faith is in Him. And that should brighten any day. But we shouldn't ever feel as we are the answer for the whole world. We are just what the world needs. Without us, the world would be robbed. And that's why no man can stand before God proud and boastful. Instead, we fall upon our faces dead men before him. Because if we've lived an entire lifetime thinking highly of ourselves in that moment that we stand before him, we are broken and humbled. And friends, that's how we should live every single day of our lives. That's how we should wake up every single morning. We bow our knees and surrender to him. And by doing so, he exalts us to high and lofty places. Well, I love you, friends. I pray that your journey will be blessed today. I pray that your heart will be full of the Spirit of God. I pray that you'll have a skip in your step and a song on your heart. Now, as he wills, and until tomorrow, friends, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.